Why is it that whenever a Christian backslide, we always tend to blame the pastor, the deacon, or somebody else within the church? We always tend to put the blame on somebody. We try to find some silly excuses for walking out on God, turn our back on God. People are going to always say things about us, you know. People are going to always do things to us. I myself had faced a lot of criticism. People tell lies on me and so forth. I remember once upon a time, you know, a man of God said, said to me that I wasn't qualified or good enough to be with his daughter. So that we're not compatible. The man said to me, say, every who have them stick a bush, but I am not the stick for his daughter, who? Now, I was wondering to myself that who is he to be telling his daughter who she should be with? Who is he to be choosing for his daughter? Because she's not a child, she's an adult. So she should be capable of choosing who she loves, who she wants to spend the rest of her life with and whatever. Because you can choose for your daughter, you know. Because the person have title within the church, the person preach, the person can sing well, the person I want a good job, live in a big decent pretty house, driving a nice fancy car or whatsoever. That doesn't mean that person will go treat the daughter with love and respect, you know. Right? I even remember somebody else, I'm an ex-man of God, went to somebody again and tell them some lies on me. He said, what, if what the person did said was true, then I wouldn't have any other choice that, than to admit my wrong. But you see, a lie, it can do a lot of damage to a person. I remember one morning about after five, a certain young lady um, texted me and said, Ricky, I can't. Brother, go through with this relationship with you because me have faced a lot of pressure at home. My parents have been saying a lot of things about you, plus people has been coming to them, saying things to them about you and all these things. So she was under a lot of pressure and said that she had to end the relationship because, because um, of things that have been said at home about me and all these things. Yes, I was fighting like a warrior, so to speak, to hold on to that relationship, but, you know, I wasn't successful, so to speak. You win some, you lose some, ain't it? But anyways, in uh, Matthew chapter uh, 15, I guess, where um, a lady went to Jesus for help. And Jesus told the lady that it wasn't appropriate for him to take the children but then give to the dog. Now, Jesus was calling the woman a dog indirectly. She could have become discouraged and said that she don't want want her deliverance or whatever. But the lady had a need. She had a need. Right? And so she never walked away. Even though Jesus insulted her, she never walked away. Because she had a need. She stood her ground and said that even the dogs had to eat the crumbs of the table or something along that line. Now, we are living in a, in a real world where things are going to happen. People are going to do with things, people are going to say things about us and all these things. But in uh, Matthew 
18 verse 6. It says that it would be better if a milestone is hung around your neck. If you and you be cast out into the ocean, if you allow one of God's children to stumble, it would be better if a milestone is put around your neck and you'll be cast out into the ocean or the sea or whatever. You understand? If you allow one of God's children to backslide or to stumble. It says offense will come but woe unto them that cause the offense. Offense will come but woe unto them that cause the offense. Now that should not give you any reason to backslide. Because don't you even think that the pastor, the bishop and other members within the church, people had said things about them. Even people within the church have criticized some of the leadership them and say things about them. But because your pastor and your bishop now pray to man, I've got them pray to, and I've got them a live for, them decide to say them now go give up on their ministry or give up on God. Remember, I said even the, the disciples, them, you know, or the apostles, them, have been through a whole lot. Some of them were falsely accused. Some of them um, got beaten. And the man then rejoiced and counted it as joy that they were beaten for, the, for Christ's sake. Some of us serve like a wet bread. You see, because we know rooted and grounded, every little thing get us down. The Bible said that a Christian should endure hardship like a soldier of Jesus Christ. We must endure hardship. Remember, one of the fruit of the Spirit is the long suffering as well. Right? One of the fruit of the Spirit is long suffering. Things are going to always happen. People are going to always say things about us. People are going to always do things. Are you a warrior? Or are you a warrior? Hmm? Are you a warrior? Or are you a warrior? If you are a warrior, fight. But if you are a warrior, sit down and go and worry about your situation. And worrying about it, now going to make it better. Sitting down and keeping a pity party, and not worry about what he said and she said and whatever, it now going to make the situation get any better. I tell you some of the things that were me facing in life. Some of the things that were me go through, I just that because I have respect for some people, you know. I don't want to say certain things out of respect. Furthermore, God say, vengeance is mine. Hey, look here. Remember one time I didn't plan to commit murder, you know. Remember one time, you know, somebody did that threaten me. Somebody did not threaten me one time. And I pray about it day and night. And one day I said, God, if you not deal with the person here, I'm going to fix them business for them myself. And I go to church the Sunday. Hmm. I go to church the Sunday. And after the preacher done preach and all these things and altar call, I guess I went up to altar for prayer. And the man of God, the Virgin Anthony, the Lord started to reveal some things to him concerning me. And the man, based on the instruction of the Holy Spirit, the man poured some olive oil on me. And it's like, 
What he poured like the Holy Spirit said that is not enough. And the man said, must take off my shirt and wrap me up in a one towel or whatever it was. And, and God somehow alive and turned the whole battle on me and night the whole of me. And the man said to me, say, the Holy Spirit said, if you never come to church today, tomorrow Monday, you would have murdered somebody. And really and truly, I was planning to fix that man's business myself because of the pressure that I was under. Because I always said to myself, say, I'd rather do the crime, ask God for forgiveness, than to make somebody hurt me. To how serious I was. And it wasn't like I was the one who did this person any wrong. The man just disliked me, started to pick on me. The least good thing I said to him, an argument. One time the man carried an ice pick for me, and the Holy Spirit said to me, say, The ice pick there, he carried for you. And yes, I did feel threatened, I don't go lie. I feel threatened, and I said, God, I said, if you don't deal with the man for me, I'm going to deal with him, I'm going to keep him, I'm going to fix him myself. Because I purpose it in my heart. So I'm going to deal with him because I never planned to let my daughter them grow up without a father. You know. I rather ask God to forgive me than to allow him to cause me to be missing in action, so to speak. You understand? What means I show you say, God will always look out for his children. You see, even when you give up on God, God will not give up on you. When you turn your back on God, you know, God not turn his back on you, you know. And if a, if a, if a people that cause you to give your life to God in the first place, then you are going to lose. But if you surrender to God because you love him and you want to serve him and live for him, then it doesn't matter what he said or what she said, you are going to still stand your ground. And do the will of God. Are you a warrior? Or are you a warrior? You are live to please God. Or you are live to please people.